Hello, am I speaking with Karen? Uh, yeah. Hi, Karen. I'm calling from the corporate liaison team with American Air. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Reason for the call is I understand you had reached out to us with a complaint. Yes. Um, tell me what happened. So, um, I booked a flight with my family since November for spring break. We left Dallas on on Saturday. We were supposed to get here in Milan. We had two connect two connections. One was from Dallas to Washington, and then Washington to London Heathrow, then Heathrow to Milan. Uh, it's so pronounced uh, Heathrow. Do you mean Heathrow in London? Yes. Yeah, he yes. Heathrow, Heathrow. So, yeah. Yeah, Heathrow. Heathrow. So we got there. Say it right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we got there. We had um, some people from the airport came to pick us all up from all of us going to Milan. They said that um, because of the short transit, it's a short time for transit, they were going to take us through a bus route to fast track anyways to get us to the plane, Milan train and that the train, the plane, uh, Milan plane, and that the plane was delayed for us. Instead of us going, we waited. You know, you have to wait for everybody on the on the plane. Yeah. We waited, spent time waiting. We got to the last security to be told that somebody forgot to delay the train, the plane. And so, from six a.m., we stayed for like over an hour waiting for what is going to happen. And finally, around maybe two hours or three hours after, we had um, all thirty-one of us on the plane where we scheduled. And so. A flight that was supposed to be about eight, nine hours turned out longer. We got to Milan at 6.30, at 6 p.m. instead of 10 a.m. I got to Milan. My bag was missing. Another one hour looking for bags. By the time the Milan airport wasn't really helpful. By the time we located someone that could help us, they asked me, Did I, they, they, were, they were insinuating I bought a ticket that was broken into pieces, like I bought each piece meal. And so my uh, my luggage was in um, Washington, D.C. The luggage didn't even get to London. And so I told them, no, that's not possible. We are four in my, in my party. We have two bags. One bag that had the miscellaneous is here, right here. And so when we, we get our bags, they don't know. What can you do to help us? They don't know. They're just going to have to trace it. Okay, they gave us, you know, the took this packet, gave us one. We're like, we're full. All our things are in there. We're coming for a spring break. And then the guy was like, no, one, one, one toothbrush, a suitcase. There was no empathy. There was nothing. We spent the whole day at the airport. Today is day two of our trips. We have to go start buying little, little things to other teenagers to tie us through. Today is the second day of our trip from Saturday. We... Now, today, sun, today, Monday, Monday is over now. We still don't have suitcase. We don't have our luggage. Oh, Nothing. my goodness. So where are you presently located? Where are you right now? I'm in Florence right now. You're in Florence, Italy right now. So, yes. right. So you have somewhere to stay and everything else. Um, but you are missing yes. your yes. luggage. Is that right? Yes. Oh, okay. dokie. so when I look... When I reached out to your team, I was asking, okay, can we extend our ticket, at least maybe a day extra to forfeit? We, we just had five days. A lady was telling me I have to pay applicable fee for ticket change. Yeah. You paid me applicable fee when I was left at the airport through logistics. Somebody forgot to delay the plane. Who paid a logistics fee for me? My baggage is missing with teenagers. I don't know if that lady or whoever was talking to me don't have kids, have two teenagers. With nothing, we had been for 24 hours, nothing on us, and it was late at night. So you imagine how we were, telling me applicable free customer service. No, that's wrong. Okay, well, um, I, do have, uh, I do have some good news for you. While you were talking there, I just ran a, a corporate trace machine on the, uh, on the bag, and it looks like we yeah. have managed to locate the, the, the bag for you. Okay. Um, we get it. So the bag is presently located in London, England. Um, now, what happens is when a bag uh, is declared missing or is not collected promptly, um, it is the airline's responsibility to take care of it. So 
for the last, uh, well, last night, the bag stayed at the Windsor Castle Hotel in downtown London. Um, at least my bag is enjoying. <laughs> well, yes, yeah. So basically the cheapest option, you know, we can't guarantee that someone at the airport can take care of the bag. So what we do is we check the bag into a local hotel that we, we do business with. And that way we can be assured that it's safe and it's secure. Um, now the bag is, it is quite late in London. I think it's nearly, uh, nearly 11 PM over in London right now. So the bag mm -hmm. will be spending another night there and then we will fly it out to you, um, over in Italy. Uh, so you should be receiving it probably sometime tomorrow afternoon. Now, um, okay. it's, it's up to you how quickly it gets there. Um, if you want it to fly private, there's obviously a huge charge for that. We can send it on a private jet. Uh, but if you want it to fly economy, um, obviously we will just charge you for a standard one-way economy ticket and fly the bag out to you tomorrow afternoon. Now, we don't need any details from you. We have your card information on file, so it will just be charged automatically. Um, can I assume you just want the economy service? Quick question. I have to pay for my bag to be delivered to me, bag that I checked in. Well, yeah, I it's, already. it's standard policy with Americans. So you will see a charge for the hotel room and any amenities that the bag requires. And then hey. uh, the, the flight as well. It will be a standard uh, economy flight. Obviously, the bag doesn't need the extra leg room. But, um, and it sh should be with you by about three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. How wait, does that wait. sound? Are you joking? Are you, are you serious? For real? I'm paying for the Windsor Hotel storage. The Windsor Castle paying... Hotel in downtown London. Yes. Yes. So, so I'm paying for that storage. Well, it's not, and then it, I'm paying... it's not storage per se. It's for somebody to, uh, you know, the bag will be taken care of. It'll be looked after. So who we'll made this decision? So how do I ask? Who, who are you calling from? Are you calling from American Airlines for real? Correct. Yes, from the corporate liaison team. So your staff forgot to check my bag in to my destination. What do you your organization sent my bag to a Windsor Hotel for safekeeping? The Windsor Castle then Hotel in it. downtown London. Yes. Windsor Castle Hotel, adding you yes. writing that down. Yeah, so write Windsor that down. Castle Hotel. So Windsor Castle Hotel. Yeah. What am I speaking with first? Please. My name is Ron, R-O-N. Okay, so Ron, you, which of the offices, which of the American airline offices are you calling from? I work in the main corporate office. Okay, so you... I explain what happened to you uh, about my bag missing, and I'm here. And so you're telling me now that my bag was left in London, even though the tide is showing me that my bag is in um, is in Florence. No, so you're that... telling me that my bag is in London, and you guys, American Airlines, put my bag in. I I can hotel. explain. I can explain the reason for that. So. It looks like the label, you know, the sticker fell off the bag. So the sticker, the label made it all the way to Italy, but the bag was sitting behind in London. That That's how that happened. So the sticker fell off, the sticker by the staff of American Airlines put on my bag, fell off my bag, and then the bag is in London, and you lodged it in London Windsor Hotel? The Windsor Castle Hotel in downtown London, yes. Win okay. So now uh, you're going to charge me for my bag being in Windsor Castle, London Windsor Castle Hotel? In yes. London? Yeah. So it's two nights and in the premium economy room with breakfast included. Um, and then obviously the flight as well. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And then... <laughs> I, I, know you're, I know you're laughing, man, but that is the cheapest rate available at that hotel, you see. Okay, so my bag is sitting in Windsor Castle Hotel right there. And so um, now you're going to charge me to have my bag taken to, um, you said, what were the options for my bag to come to me? 
Well, the options are entirely up to you. We can we can fly it over there via whatever ticket is available on the day. So if you if you so wanted my... if you wanted it to fly business class, that is an option. But I assumed you just wanted the standard economy ticket. So you charge my bag standard economy ticket to get to Milan, right? Cool. Um, or Florence. It, when it, I already paid my ticket and I'm here. So what kind of breakfast did my bag have? I'm sorry? You said my bag was charged. You said my you said my 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 bag in the window hotel was charged breakfast and whatever. What did you say? Uh, what did I say when? Which, which part do you need me to repeat? I, it looks like you've got the a good hand on this. You for my bag in winter. You've repeated the story three or four times now. You I, I, it's not in storage. So what is the charge for the winter? It's for the bag to stay in the hotel, to be kept in the hotel where it's safe. What are you not understanding about that? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So it's different from storage. Now, as, as far as I know, yeah, the the bag is placed hi, in a room. Hi, hello, hello, hi, good evening. Hello, my name is Ade, and um, your name's um, what? Karen is my wife. I'm sorry, my your name's name what? Ade. Headache. Ade. Headache. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Mister Headache. Um, how are you? Good evening. How are you? And my wife is Karen. So, so I'm sorry about that. My wife. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, how I've can been I help? Listening to the conversation. I've been listening to the conversation and um, it doesn't make sense to me. Oh, gosh. Um, is and there a, perhaps anybody there that's a little more literate that can translate? Well, I'm, I'm glad you're having a good time over there and I, I take it you want to proceed with the economy ticket. Correct. <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy yourself. Well, I know that. I know my bag. I know, just, I I, know, I know you're joking, I know because number one, you seem to be very rude, and um, pardon me. Number two, uh, you seem to be very you have rude. Problem hearing also on your side. I don't need a translator. Maybe you have problem hearing. I need my bag here because I don't understand how American Airlines calls me with a number. That is not American. And American. for you, and American. for you to even say you need somebody more literate. So, am I speaking Spanish or am I speaking <laughs> French? Yeah, and you're speaking was, some you know, kind of some kind of. Send my bag to first class economy. Everything you want to send is sending. Yeah, it, it'll be sent to economy and we'll. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs>